Hey Brill. This is my very first vlog. Also, I'm going to be giving an altar tour with it. This is my bedroom. I'm getting my day started and in the process. So I'm going to be showing you various rituals that I do often. On the daily, I don't wear a lot of makeup. For example, today I'm just wearing concealer, lipstick, quickly did my hair. Usually, I like wearing really comfy outfits, so I'm wearing cute orange sweatpants and a fun sweatshirt. day started really late today. Actually, in the evening, my schedule flipped around. The past few days, I've been filming a lot of content because I got the bright idea of trying to film as many videos as I could this week and actually even tried to get content done for the rest of the year. So... That can be time consuming and usually when I'm filming and editing and trying to get things done and and there is an altar behind me so there will be an altar tour. <laughs> Part of this is a vlog too so just so you know. This altar behind me which we'll get closer to is actually an altar to myself. So sometimes when I really get into editing and filming, I'll just want to keep going and stay up super late. I have a vampire schedule, so my I don't have a set schedule, so I can create content when I decide to. It just so happens usually I end up staying really late. So, one ritual I often do is a cleansing. I've talked about this before, daily cleansing of energy and aura, because when it comes down to it, all I can do is try my best. And unfortunately, there are situations that I have to deal with that I have to deal with and the best way I can describe it is I, all I can control is what I do and my actions. So recently I had to do some rituals on justice and justice will be served. It always is and seeing justice served is one of the most rewarding aspects of life. But anyways, sometimes I have to make phone calls, deal with certain situations, and it's just part of this realm. So what we can do is grow, learn from it, and cleanse our energetic work field. I notice when I do that, it's a positive experience. I'm using a different mic today than I normally do because I'm going to be moving the camera around. Also, I thought it'd be fun. I have a tarot deck on my altar to myself. In my room, 
and I also have a rune set. So we'll pull a rune and we'll pull a card for the day. I'll be getting much closer to a lot of my altars. Shuffle these cards. Okay, well this card just popped out, so I'm gonna go with this card actually. <laughs> Makes it easy when I need to practice my shuffling. The King of Cups, this is really interesting. Especially because it reminds me of a painting I showed in a video I just filmed recently that I did myself of a school and the school's opening up to the universe. Wow. And just the way the auric star behind it is illuminating the school. So, with the King of Cups, it's being a leader with emotions. Something that I continuously work on myself because there's a perfect balance with that. The king demands respect and justice and how things should be with with both of those aspects using emotions to your advantage and growing through them but most of all similar to what I was channeling with the cleansing with the crystal ball is that connecting your mind to the universe and the divine is going to give you the king-like emotional state necessary in meditating on that. Now for the runes. Pretty experienced. I am very experienced with tarot cards. Runes I'm newer to. Awas. This is the first time I've gotten this room. And it's interesting because I can't help but think of that alien entity Awas, which someone tried challenging me by bringing it up. What's interesting is that deity was trying to control me and this rune often symbolizes relationships between two spiritual beings and that beneficial relationship where one, they benefit each other one by benefited than the other and they have different 
ways to look at things. I see it as connecting with typical types of connections and looking through the eyes of the other being. So, I wasn't into what Awas wanted with our ben with our friendship and I don't believe I just believe there was just a misunderstanding with that something that we became on good terms it's interesting how he's popping up again as if he's wanting to communicate and I would like to communicate actually again more with him and his legion so I'm gonna be doing that because this is the second time he's popped up and I know that Awas doesn't that alien doesn't have anything to do with this rune really but when whether I'm reading tarot or runes it's my own channeled interpretation so sometimes I like to do a tarot reading or a rune reading just to get some insight on my life in general or my day they really do have me thinking about things on a different level and let's get into the Elser Tour. This here is my personal altar to myself. Santa Muerte is on it right now watching me. She's been on it for a couple months now. A situation came up to where I needed to have her on my altar and actually show her to someone and then I ended up keeping her there and it just felt right and she really is protected and protects me here I also have some garnet Really powerful stone it represents a lot of what's on my path. This is also so great for balance of the heart, with all the energy going throughout it as well. It's hard to see with the blue light, but it's actually black and pink. And here's a crystal ball, which can often be used for scrying. I love the energy that radiates around spheric stones. A lot of death energy symbolization on my altar. It's an onyx skull. sacred box what might call it a wish box symbol of my school with the crown and what I am keeping in here currently is very sacred
cool about this altar actually is that this is a chest Oh, it's not a chest, it's a cabinet that opens Some things that I'm not showing, I'm not showing for a reason These are some fairy-like flowers Bell-shaped flowers Some forget-me-nots Thistle And we'll move on to my Love altar, which is in my room Moving right along, this is a window I know I said door in my previous Or one of my previous videos where I was talking about how I gave the Sumerian god, moon god Nana a door. I see doors similar to windows. I know they're different. I just see them as portals. So I gave him this window and I'm going to be in the future painting him a door. He was, he asked for a painting of a door and I gave him this and he was perfectly happy with it. So I don't have to. But for some reason, I still want to, so I will one day. This here is a love altar. Mushrooms, growing of love, the wooden. A Venus bottle, Jupiter bottle. Goat horn. Cube of Azazel Scorpion Various Crystals Dense altar connected to the mermaids, subconscious, death. newer typewriter that I got. I still need to do a video with it. Some offerings. More mushrooms. You'll notice this theme on various altars. actually an ancestor altar up above
Various altars are shared by multiple deities. Here is the Green Fairy, Malik Daos, Dear Spirit, you'll see parts of nature. This also has oak, my magical buddy, and various magical tools. Wooden mushrooms. This is actually Santa Muerte's altar. She's just chilling over at my altar. And sometimes I mix different objects on different altars. I've noticed a lot of Azazel's objects are mixed around. For example, these chimes here are actually dedicated to Azazel. On my love altar, the goat horn is also dedicated to Azazel. I have a statue of him, but I won't be showing him in this video. There are some statues that I'm actually not going to be showing. They're sacred to me. I hope you enjoy the parts of my sanctuary, though, that I do feel comfortable sharing with you. is a altar on my mantle. Elk vertebrae. Shadow man with the hat. Honestly, this is not his typical hangout area. He just wanted to make an appearance and we're not going to be showing his actual altar today, so there he is. My allies, some deer bones. Some of these altars are a work in progress. I have a lot. It's, it's a lot. Some I use more than usual, some I rarely use. This is a newly dedicated altar to some of the Fae. Books. 
floor. This is a window I've dedicated to Sahur Masu. Garden dedicated to all the fairies. Some ferns. Ivy. Call this a mini tree. And some more plants that are doing okay. I have to be really careful on not watering them too much. Especially when the weather changes, even though they're indoor plants, they I can tell they get affected by the weather that's outside. I'm wondering if that's just because of the air. Moving right along to my Altar. With the lovely goddess Bass. Part of the vlog was you experiencing the altar tours and the day of in, in the life of an influencer because very often filming is part of what I do. When I'm actually done with this vlog, I'm going to be editing. drink in here just because uh, I don't drink energy drinks too often. Today was one of those days where I felt like I needed an energy drink. Sometimes when I'm up far too late, I want to do things. <laughs> I'll have to wait till the sun rises and it's an appropriate time to go to the cemetery. 
I have a book here. I want to get some things done on my to-do list, but the things I need to do are make phone calls and it's really late when the places that I need to call aren't open. So after I edit this vlog, I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do, which is probably do some chores to be honest. And I have one more... Oh! I actually have two more little altars that I wanted to show. So... Yeah, there's so many altars around here. Sometimes I forget. They're almost hidden. In my sanctuary. So I'll probably do some chores, and I'm not gonna film that, just cleaning my apartment. It's not really that interesting. Maybe some of you would find that interesting, I don't know. get into the other altars. I'll see how you all respond to this vlog because who knows I might get into doing more vlogs in the future especially if I get to a point where I'm creating more content I could see myself doing more vlogs I have so many exciting ideas. The other day, well, I have a book with all ideas I have for future videos. And I recently started a new notebook and I already have it 75% full. I transferred a lot of my ideas into the book. I'm saying I have some ideas, which is always good. Lots of inspiration. Some ideas I've had for a long time, so usually I'll do what feels most inspiring and fun to me at the moment, and it could change because sometimes in my calendar I'll have something planned. Okay, next month I want to do these videos, and then I'll just get a new idea that I'm more, a little more excited about, and that's when I'll change the idea because I always think it's important to have in what you're doing and if I'm having more fun and more stoked on an idea I'm sure the viewers will be appreciative of that energy I love you so much and I'm gonna get to showing you the altars I was looking at my crystal tray earlier and it dawned on me that it's a crystal altar
I really appreciate the watch time at the moment so when you have a chance or after this video if you scroll down my video list and checked out the videos you haven't seen yet when I was looking at all my videos the other day I noticed that there's some videos that don't quite have as many views as others so maybe there are some that you haven't seen yet one that comes to mind that's a really awesome video that doesn't have too many views is my crystal chest video if you love crystals I think you would really enjoy that is the altar of the ancient Egyptian frog goddess Hecate. She isn't that well known. She's one of the first ancient Egyptian primordial goddesses and it's very powerful. Excellent for abundance. Among many others. That concludes this altar tour. I'll probably do another one once my altars progress, which will probably be for a while. I'm really happy with how they are now. And how much they have progressed since I've lived at this apartment. I love you. Like this video. Subscribe. Check ways to support me down in the description. Follow the path to my ASMR playlist. Share this video with your friends. I love you so very much, darling. Bye.